Every fall, harbors and marinas across the upper Great Lakes hold large numbers of returning brown trout, making this time of year a shore angler's dream. Today on Big Fish 365, Eric Hadia and Joe Schmidt target late fall trophy trout from shore. This is a good fish, folks. This is a big one here. And explain why downsizing your tackle for clear water finicky fish. There we go, thunder. Can pay off. This is a big, heavy fish. I'm taking my time. In a big way. All this and more, right now, on Big Fish 365. Hey folks, today we are catching some world-class browns on light spinning tackle right from shore. We've got just an unbelievable world-class world fishery here, finesse fishing these big browns. Oh, look at this fish. They are in here thick. Big browns on the light action spinning tackle, float fishing, using eggs, using jigs. This is, oh man, this is fun. All right, there she is. Yeah, oh, you are not gonna believe the size of this fish. Oh, just a beautiful, look at this fish. Beautiful, well, she was hooked pretty solid. Beautiful, female <laughs> brown trout. Hey, catching big fish and look at the eggs pouring out of them. Catching big fish from shore like this, big world-class brown trout. Does it get any better than that? That is just awesome. What a big, beautiful hen. Boy, oh boy. I'm gonna get a quick picture of this one. We're gonna let her go. You know, I grew up fishing Lake Michigan, and one of my favorite times of the year to fish is in the fall. Because in the fall, you get a huge migration of giant brown trout that return to these harbors and marinas and even the, the Great Lakes tributaries here. And it's some very easy, accessible shore fishing. You don't need a boat. You don't need all the fancy equipment. You just need some standard light tackle, spinning tackle. And you can come down here and literally have a chance at catching one of the world's largest brown trout. And myself and my good buddy Joe Schmidt, we came down here fishing from shore and we happened to time it perfect. A lot of this fishing is timing and if you can time it right, when these big fish migrate into these harbors and marinas, you can catch world-class steelhead and giant brown trout from shore. There we go, it's under. Got a bite, watch that float. There it goes, he's playing with it. It's under, under. Here we go, there he is. Another one. You Look hooked up? This. I'm hooked up, I threw that thing right back. Not, this is fighting like another steelhead. Look. Oh. I'll, I'll get the net. You. Here it comes, right at me, Joe. Right here, look at this. I can't even keep up with him. He's right here. Ooh. Oh, look at that look at steelhead, that. Joe. Oh. Nice. Look yeah. at that. Oh, here it goes. Going underneath the dock. Oh, I gotta keep my rod in the water here. Oh, he's playing Look at this. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You got him? Right here. Nice right fish. Nice fish. Oh. Get her, get her, get her. Yeah, yeah dude. Number two. Yeah. Woo! Awesome. Man, this is fast action. We're just getting down here. First thing in the morning. Steelhead, oh, beautiful fish jump. Oh, I got it. Right. Watch that rod. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is exciting. Shore fishing, folks, in the fall. 
He ate that. Catching thing. beautiful steelhead and browns like this. Man, what an incredible fish. And the way that these fish fight on the light tackle, as you can tell, it's breathtaking. I am exhausted, Joe, man. I'm running all over chasing this one. What an awesome fish, man. I love the fall steelhead. After the break on Big Fish 365. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this fish here. Beautiful steelhead. This segment brought to you by lake-link.com, the Midwest's largest online fishing resource. If it's not on your radar, you're not in the game. <laughs> Isn't that something? Log on to lake-link.com, the largest fishing resource in the Midwest. Find info on thousands of bodies of water, interactive fishing reports, and gain access to topographical maps on over 2,700 different lakes. Be in the know and know where to go. Lake-link.com, beyond the water. Another oh, nice steelhead, Eric. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Another, Another nice hen. I'll tell you, nice November. mama. Ooh. Good job, buddy. Good job. Nice fish. Oh, 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 oh. Go left. Come on over here, Joe. Your rod. Bring okay. it over here left. Keep away, Get away from, from that yep, pylon. Yep. Yep. We're good. Don't go over there. Come on, baby. Oh, we may have to run over to that other dock. We'll see. Boy, they are piled yeah. in here this morning, aren't they, Joe? Yeah, definitely. We filmed this particular segment right here in the Milwaukee Harbor, and you can see all the buildings, and there's a million people here in the Milwaukee Harbor, and probably the most common question I get asked on a daily basis when I've got customers out here fishing is, how come there's not more people out here fishing these small harbors and marinas? And to be honest, I really don't have the answer for that, but what I can tell you is, not only is the Milwaukee Harbor awesome, for giant brown trout in the fall. You've got the Kenosha Harbor, which is exceptional. You've got the Racine Harbor. You've got Port Washington Harbor. You've got Kiwani, Two Rivers. All of these harbors in the fall get a large return of massive brown trout, typically starting in the end of October, and that'll last all the way through spring. You can go on the DNR's website and take a look at where they're stocking the most brown trout and typically a couple of years later you're going to have a large return of big brown trout that's easily accessible from shore in the marinas in the harbors and up in the rivers it's been a great day huh? catching okay. brown steelhead whoa, there he whoa, goes whoa, whoa, whoa. come here sweetie come here <laughs> oh, <look at> <laughs> you can't there. stop him on his light tackle man six pound test oh no no there no, he no. goes there he goes no, he's you coming go, he's coming back out if it goes around that no, loose, 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 Joe. Go real loose. Open the bail. Open the bail. He's around Open it. Open the bail, Joe. Open the bail. Okay. Now go on the other side over there. Can you throw it? Yeah. He's coming back. He's swimming back. Here she comes. Come on over here, Joe. Here's your fish. Now the reason I did that is when you get these fish wrapped around these pilings like that, you want to... Can I have my rod back? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go loose now. Hold yeah. the rod to the right real hard. To the right. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. Yep. Let's Good job. Good job. Get that net, buddy. Now, when you get those fish around those pilings, you want to loosen it up so you don't Perfect. snap them off. Yes. There you go, man. We got her, man. Yeah. We had to work hard for that one. So that was some good teamwork here. You got a lot of obstacles, obstructions in this, on the docks and in these marinas, but that's what makes it really challenging, coming down here, catching these big fish on the light stand-up tackle. How fun is that, man? Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You can't beat it. I know, you can't, can't beat it. Got another one on here. Not, boy, oh boy, just, is that a steelhead? Yeah, nice steelhead. Nice mixed bag we're catching. Steelhead, brown trout, Salmon, all from shore here in November. We got 50 mile an hour winds. That's why we're fishing from shore. Just goes to show you, you can still get out of the wind and catch big fish if you know where to go. That's what today's show is all about. Oh, this is, oh, this is awesome. Look at this fish here, beautiful steelhead. That's what I love about steelhead, they never give up. A lot of these harbors get a big fall migration of trout. So what you want to do is take a look at our Wisconsin DNR's website 
figure out where the, con the, the most brown trout and steelhead are stocked. And then you just go right back to those harbors and that's what you're going to do. You're going to get these big, big trout like this on the light tackle. Oh, it's fun. It's just so much fun catching big fish on light tackle. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on into the old Frable. My new catch and release Frable. Yeah. All right. Love it. Just another awesome fall steelhead here from shore in the harbor. Beautiful fish. I mean, look at the colors of these steelhead. They're just an awesome fighting fish. After the break on Big Fish 365. There he is, right here. Oh. Oh, that's a nice fish, too. This segment brought to you by Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938. Looking for Big Fish 365 days a year? We've got you covered. Check out BigFish365.com. Watch past episodes of the show, how-to videos, and webisodes. Sign up free for our exclusive Big Fish Mobile. View and share your own videos and photos right on our site. Enjoy the Midwest's largest online fishing report with our partners at Lake Link. It's your one stop for all that's Big Fish. Become a member today at BigFish365.com. The nation's largest independent dealer is where you need to go for your next motorcycle, and it's right in your backyard. Road, track, and trail. With over 500 pre-owned bikes to choose from, we can say name the brand, and we'll have it for under 10 grand. Check out RoadTrackAndTrail.com, then visit Road, Track, and Trail in Big Bend. There it goes. Got him. Yes. Another one. Big fish from shore, man, my favorite thing. Grew up catching these fish from shore. Oh man, the light tackle, stay here, sweetheart. Another male, not a real big one, but man. There's, oh man, they, they are so scrappy, these browns. Another fish in the frable. Come here, buddy. I'll tell you, I've said it many times, folks. How awesome our brown trout fishery is here, southeastern Wisconsin. This past year, we broke that world record brown trout here in southeastern Wisconsin. These are small fish, brown trout, but we have, in my opinion, from November through March, maybe even into April, the world's best brown trout fishery right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All the ports, Milwaukee, Racine, Sheboygan, along the uh, western basin here of Lake Michigan world-class brown trout fishery. Thank you, buddy. I'll catch you when you're 25 pounds. Hold to the Eric? right, buddy. Hold to the right. Well, this is fun on this 13-foot rod, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blast. It's taking me out to sea. I just realized he was hooked, I think. He just turned around. What do we got? Big brown? I hope so. King? Doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's big. That's all I know. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. Keep them coming, buddy. Fight Boy, them. I hope we don't get in those pilings. Don't say it. Knock on a little wood here. Oh, that looks like a big fish, man. we go chase him down? If you want to. Oh. I just got off. That's what happens when you come in here and fish among these pilings. This morning we started fishing on the docks, and uh, we actually launched our boat. Um, it's in the middle of November, you can fish off the docks, um, and we're fishing from the boat, but uh, you can catch these fish from the docks into the boat, but you can see all the obstructions, so you're not going to land all these fish. They fight hard amongst all the boats and in the pilings in here, so you're going to lose a good portion of them. Hey folks, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the rig that I'm using to catch a lot of these trout. Basically I'm using a, a spawn bag or a spawn sack here with some eggs and I use a variety of different colors. I'll use pink, orange, chartreuse, yellow, sometimes even the blue or the white netting. And then I'll use a variety of different types of eggs. I'll use coho eggs, salmon eggs, steelhead eggs, uh, whatever I can get a hold of. These particular eggs are uh, trout eggs and salmon eggs we're catching the fish on today. Then I've got a number six gamagatsu hook here. Uh, I like some of the colored hooks. I like the orange hooks and the chartreuse hooks. And then all I'm doing is taking this and I'm either hooking it through the front or the back, take the hook and I run it through the spawn sack like this, and then what I have about 12 to 12 inches to 2 feet above it is a, a split shot, and you can use a bunch of shot too, you can use smaller shot or big shot and kind of stack them up and down the line. 
then I've got a fluorocarbon leader here. I've got about a three or four foot fluorocarbon leader with a two-way swivel here. If you take a look at that, and I've got braid with a two-way swivel. Okay, and then here I've got a, a sliding float that I've got pegged right here. So I can push this peg down right here, and that float's gonna stay fixed at that position and go about as far as my two-way swivel. But this will slide up and down. And that's my basic rig when I fish it, uh, when I'm fishing for browns in these marinas and in these harbors, um, float fishing. My preferred rod of choice is an eight foot, medium light action, St. Croix Avid. The reason I like the medium light action rod is because it allows me to throw a float or a jig with a spawn sack further than, it, let's say, an eight foot medium action rod. I can also fish lighter line on a lighter rod. And when you're fishing for these giant trout in the clear water, it's important to use lighter fluorocarbon lines, like six and eight pound fluorocarbon line, and the small number six, number eight, Gamagatsu super sharp hooks are really critical in catching these big trout. So when I'm fishing with this light little float I've got on here in the fluorocarbon leader, uh, I've got real light Stren braid here, and I've got a six, seven foot medium light rod. Oh, there's one. Oh, I missed them. Oh, anyways, when I'm fishing with this, all I do is I take it out, throw it out there, and I let it sit. And there's two ways you can fish these floats when you're fishing spawn bags. One, that float goes down. Typically, I like to set the hook right away. But if you're missing fish and consistently missing fish, what I like to do is I'll let them take it for two seconds. I'll count 1,001, 1,002. Then I'll reel up and hammer them. So depends on the day. These browns can be a real, oh, there's a bite. There he is, right here. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish too. Boy, oh boy, when you're fishing these spawn bags on this light tackle, all you have to do is throw it out there and just let it sit. Pretty simple fishing, but very effective for catching big trout of all species. Here she comes. We'll take her. Yes. Yes. All right. Awesome. Beautiful. Look at the colors in this female. Another nice, beautiful brown trout. I'm fishing about a foot or two off the bottom, and that's a female right there. Again, you can see the eggs coming out of her. And uh, just letting that, that float do its thing, just keeping my bag moving around out there. That's what we're catching, some big browns on light tackle. Beautiful fish. After the break on Big Fish 365. Oh, it's a big giant buck. It's a huge buck. Oh my, get out of there. Oh. This segment brought to you by Midwestern Shooter Supply, the official tackle supplier of Big Fish 365. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. The thing is huge. Thanks. You know, I mean, that's, that's a monster. I'm pretty proud of it. When are you going to hang it? Mm, maybe tomorrow. Uh, you got the hammer? Big Fish 365 is brought to you by Lake-Link.com, Frable, Midwestern Shooter Supply, and these other fine sponsors. You saw us catch them on floats before. We were catching some really nice fish to float and spawn. And uh, we moved to a new spot. We're seeing a bunch of fish that came in here. We caught a bunch of fish here that we didn't film on floats with spawn as well. It just seemed like we timed it perfectly here. And we're, we're really catching some nice fish on this little tube. And this is basically a three inch power tube. And all I'm doing, and I've got about eight pound, 10 pound fluorocarbon, strand fluoro. I'm taking this on a medium, medium light rod. This is a medium action rod. 
and I fire it out there. And I basically let it go all the way down to the bottom. In this particular spot, it's about 10, 12 feet out here. So I'll let it sink. It takes about 10, 12 seconds to sink down to the bottom. The key with the braid here is you can see the fish bite it. These fish are hammering this bait. They're just thunk, but they spit it out very, very fast. It's not like a spawn bag where they'll inhale that spawn and actually eat it uh, and swallow it. This, these plastics and jigs like this, you got to be right on top of them, whether you're fishing with a float or you're just casting it like this and jig it, jigging it in nice and slow. And then what you'll see, if you watch the line, you'll see the line jump or you'll feel that little tick, almost like a walleye bite, and you got to be right on top of them when you set the hook. Shortly after fishing this new spot, I hooked into a giant female sea ferrella. This is a big one. Another giant. Oh, that's a huge brown. That's a huge brown. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my goodness. I mean, another fish of a lifetime. To be able to catch from shore this 20 plus pound female sea ferrella in 30, 40 mile an hour winds was unbelievable. And a half hour later, to land a 25 pound plus brown trout from shore with the same light tackle and have nobody around us fishing in these condition, conditions was, was literally probably one of the best shore fishing days I've ever had in my entire life. This is a big, heavy fish. I'm taking my time. There it is out there. This is a giant. It's a big one. I gotta look at this fish twice. I've fought this thing. Here she comes, here she comes for 20 minutes. Oh, that's a big giant buck. It's a huge buck. Oh my, get out of there. Oh my God. This is one of the biggest I've ever caught. No! Oh my God, you're not gonna believe how big this fish is. Oh. This is an unbelievable world-class brown right here. That's 25, 26 pounds, maybe bigger. Easily one of the biggest browns in my life that I've caught from shore, the biggest. Just an awesome specimen, huge fish. Oh my God, look at the curse of that thing. I'm gonna let that guy go. So one of you folks can come out here catch him next year when he's 40 pounds. That is our show for this week. Thanks for checking out Big Fish 365 because it's all about the big fish, baby. Whew. For more information, check out our website, bigfish365.com for videos, fishing reports, real-time mobile uploads, and interactive content. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, check out our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for more Big Fish 365.